or not. All rise. Here you go. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be Commissioners, if you've not turned on your mics, please do so at this time. <clears throat> They're having trouble connecting one of the commissioners uh, to the machine. If it's okay with the commission, I think we'll proceed at this time with our recognitions. <clears throat> and I'm going to ask uh, Mayor Britton to please come to the well.
and uh, as the state transitions to the death investigator model and a lot of consolidation among the counties and that kind of operation. We uh, held a reception for Eddie and, and uh, Sam Moore this afternoon uh, so, that, so their friends could, could honor them. And one thing that we as, as a county government want to do in special recognition for for Eddie because he is the last county coroner in the state of Tennessee and the history of Hamlin County is um, recognized him by declaring him uh, county coroner emeritus. So he will have the designation of county coroner for the rest of the while. And uh, so in uh, Eddie, Hamlin County government, in recognition of 31 years of meritorious service in the county corner. Uh, Eddie R. Davis should by designated county corner in the works. Objective today, 21st of June. Congratulations. Gave me one. I gave you all one. Okay. Yep. Thank you. But this is a Hamlin County Coroner's card, and I'm the last one. So, you got uh, one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, uh, thank you. Uh, and if you want to have some fun with it, <laughs> hang it on your refrigerator. <laughs> and when somebody says, "What's that?" You say, "Well, the odor following you has been a little fat." <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have a good time, no matter what your name. I may have to wrestle Tim Horner for his. Yeah. 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 of your 30. 
six years <clears throat> meritorious service for the grand jury foreman. Uh, Thank you, dear. And designated the grand jury foreman. I appreciate it.
Eddie Bedford told me that the grand jury said, always be fair first, and then secondly, you have the appearance of being fair. You know, and sometimes that's more important than being fair. Do things for people about that's all. So I can talk a long time. But I thank you all, and I know many of you all. And that's just been an honor. <laughs> You've had a long afternoon, so you're welcome to stay with us, but you also can leave if you want to. So, okay. It's just, instead of reading the whole thing, just mention. Good to me. <coughs> Very much. It would work to Jay Green. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 We can do our roll call now, so please do your roll call. Okay, we are open for business and you have on your agenda item number two, the Morristown Hamlin uh, Library Board of Trustees have nominated three people to serve on their board, Phyllis Ayersman, Roxana Bowen, Rob uh, Real. We need to do this off the board, so the chair would entertain a motion to approve those Nominates. So moved, Chairman. Okay. Mr. Gowen has uh, moved. Do we have a second? Second. Mr. DeBoard has uh, a second the motion. All of those in favor of the motion, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion is approved. At this time, the chair will recognize Chairman Jim Stepp of the Calendar and Rules Committee. Thank you, Chairman. Item 3A, approval of consent calendar items. I put that in the form of motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 3A, 13 yay, 0 nay. Okay, the motion is approved. Item 3B, approval of regular calendar items. I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? It may be on the screen and I can't see it. Do we, have yeah, we, have we have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 3B, 13 yeas, 0 nay. All right, the motion is approved. All I have, Chairman. Thank you very much. At this time, the chair would entertain a motion on the board to approve the consent calendar. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Mr. Doty has moved. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. We have a, a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 4A, 13A, 0A. The motion is approved. At this time, we would entertain comments from the public regarding consent or, or agenda items only. Uh, we do have two requests to speak for five minutes. At this time, the chair would recognize Edna Green. <clears throat> oh. Yes, please. 
Thank you, Tony. Thank you, sir. Edna Green, 4981 Cameron Road. I'd like to address the one regarding the county checks, the attorneys to be specific. First of all, the county is first time since 2015 of paying Mr. Capps correctly as a government official. They are paying him on his $1,200 salary per year. They're doing it monthly. So congratulations. What I would like to know is, first thing, is he still billing to attend the meetings as well as the 1200 Is he still billing you per hour? Now, one of you have asked, as far as I know, because it's never been brought up. So uh, I would like to ask you, and if, if you don't want to answer me, I'd love to ask Mr. Capps if he's here. Surely he can answer for his sale. Well, I don't see him. There he is. <laughs> Are you still billing, sir, for I'll, both of them? I'll make a litigation, if you will know, Mr. Point of order, it's, a, it's not a A-B conversation, it's public comment. Uh, second question. As most of you know, I filed a lawsuit in 18 to make Mr. Capps pay back what he had double billed the citizens of Hamlin County. Not being smart folks, I pay for my groceries one time, I pay for my gas one time. I don't pay twice, and I'm, I can see some of you blowing, but if you pay for twice for your groceries, you've got more money than the rest of us citizens. On of order, Chairman. Is that on the agenda? That is. That checks are on the agenda. On the agenda. Sir, on you groceries. should not interrupt me, sir. You should have more respect, sir. I interrupted you, ma'am. Yes, you did interrupt Yes, I did. Point of order. Chairman. But anyway, uh, uh, would you please tell him to let me finish my five minutes, please? You can finish your five minutes, but this particular item as the attorney has pointed out to you, is being litigated, and we cannot respond in any way. Okay, well, you may not be able to respond, but I may be able to speak. Second thing on the agenda. He, he has been paid all the way through for this. That's Hamlin County money you're spending. It's not yours. It's not Mr. Mr. Britton's. It's Hamlin County citizens' money. You just need to be asking questions about it. You need to ask, where is it going? What's it going for? You need to check his billing. And personally, I don't think none one of you checked it. Second thing on the agenda is the billing for Burwell for 95000 I'd like to thank Mr. DeBoard for asking the question the other day. I see no value being saved. And unfortunately, I'm a working citizen that has to have value for her dollar. And I'm assuming that the rest of the folks in this gallery feel the same way because of the comments I've read. You folks need to speak up and ask questions. That's what you are put in here for. I know some of you don't want to hear it, but thank God for freedom of speech. I know that you have tried to squash it in the past, but it is my constitutional right to tell you folks you need to be questioning. You don't need to just be doling out taxpayer money. 95000 would do quite a bit of a road. And I don't know about the rest of it, my road's pitiful. And I'm sure it's in better shape than Mr. Neesmith's but it's still pitiful. You just need to have more concern and be a good steward. Some of you are leaving us, so you need to be a good steward. You just need to take care of things and step up and act like men and little women and do the right thing. As in the prayer that was asked tonight, please, for a change, step up and do the right thing. It is more than needed. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. We also have a request from Linda Noy for five minutes. Linda Noy, you're recognized. Thank you, Linda Noy, Joe Stevens Road. It appears the sound is working this time. I watched the committee meeting from the 13th, and I couldn't hear Mr. Pettit or just about anybody who was speaking from this particular podium with this microphone. You'll recall you paid $50,000 for this setup. You need to make sure it works or is turned on every time. I'd ask to speak about various <coughs> items on your agenda. I'm going to start with 6CI or 1, change orders 3 and 4 for the Justice Center. 
you have change order three, adding another 18,000 to the Justice Center jail. And number four, adding over 6,000 to the jail Justice Center. Your prior change orders have totaled $117,000. And now, if we go to number two, you have the project manager requesting an additional 95,000 for project management services. Like Ms. Green, I appreciate some of the comments that Mr. DeBoard made last time. He recognized and mentioned that the purpose of hiring a project manager was to save money to have somebody working with the architect on design. And as Mr. DeBoard pointed out, it doesn't seem like we have saved anything. As your change orders show, we haven't really saved anything. Maybe we redu reduced by 20,000 and added 100. That's not an overall savings. What is the value of continuing with something that is not working? And that is what Mr. DeBoard said. Mr. Cutshaw, of course, commented a number of times about how it gave him heartburn. I, I'm paraphrasing there how he struggled with this particular item. With all these changes to date, Actual project costs are over 103 million. Now that's just costs, that's not interest. As each of you know, with a mortgage or construction, you pay interest. And the estimate, and this is just an estimate based on some documents that have been in your packets of interest on 90 or 92 million is about $60 million. So at the end of all this, we're going to end up with a four-story jail with some courtrooms with an investment or a, a payment by taxpayers of over $163 million. That's absolutely outrageous. And to beat all, we'll have that massive four-story jail that the sheriff has told you repeatedly we cannot staff. I think you'll find that the jail currently with 250, 260, however many are in it right now, is understaffed significantly. And yet we think we can put people on every floor and pay them Sure, maybe we can with a huge tax increase. I ask that you reject the $95,000 increase to the project manager. I know he has a hard job. He came in late on this. That's part of the problem. If you're gonna have a project manager helping you with value engineering, they have to be in there when the design is being done, not come in afterwards and start trying to clean up what the architect has designed. So did we get value for it? We got work. Yes, I'm sure hours were spent on it. Did we get value? No. So please consider don't just consider it. Do it. You know we don't need to be paying more at this time. Or at least table it and look at it more closely. Thank you. Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission regarding agenda items? You have three minutes. Bonnie Bullington, 317 Stubblefield Street. I pretty much want to reiterate what Ms. Green and Ms. Noy have said. Every month, there's another expense. 
this insane Taj Mahal that you people have shoved down the throats of the Hamlin County citizens that's going to bankrupt the county every month is coming back with more and more and more money. When's it going to stop? How can we pay for it? How can we expect to buy groceries, send kids to school, put gas in our vehicles or anything else when we're paying for this crazy, insane mistake that you all chose over the taxpayers? This is insanity. Uh, 95 more thousand dollars for a project manager just a few months into this project. What's it going to be six months down the road or a year? This is a two-year project. How many millions of dollars is going to be added on to what's already been added on before this project's finished? Will it ever be finished? If this keeps up, it won't be. Thank you. Anyone else who wishes to speak concerning the agenda items only? Seeing none, then we'll proceed uh, with uh, our business. And uh, at this time, we'll recognize Chairman Randy the board of the uh, Finance Committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Item uh, 6A, approval of the monthly checks. I'll put that in the form of a motion. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, is there any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6A, 13 yeas, 0 nays. The motion is approved. Item 6B, the request to purchase uh, property for the landfill, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Commissioner Nee Smith, you are recognized. Uh, Randy, how much we how much that going to cost us? Three hundred fifty thousand. Say it again. Three hundred fifty thousand. We're, we're paying half. The city's paying the other half. Okay. What, what was it, Randy? Three fifty total, with fifty percent coming from county and fifty percent from the fund. How many acres? Six, was it sixteen acres? Eight, I believe it was sixteen. Sixteen acres of undeveloped property, and then the class three landfill that GFL operates now, which is right. sixty something acres. Is that over where the McGuffins were parking their trucks right in there? Was it over behind there? I don't know. It's a it's adjacent to our current land. Going south, north. <laughs> North, okay. east, okay. Any other discussion? Here it is. Let's vote the motion, please. Item 6B, 13 yeas, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6C1 for um, change order number three and four, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6C19, nay, 4A. Nay. Okay, the motion is approved. Item 6C2, this is a change order for request. And that is 95,000. I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6C2, 8 yay, 5 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6C3. Laundry equipment for 70834 I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. The 
Commissioner Kutschall. Item 6C3, 11 yay, 2 nay. All right, the motion is approved. Item 6D, body scanner purchased for the, uh, this is through the opioid settlement funds, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6D, 12 yay, 1 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6E, Resolution 2212, a resolution authorizing Hamlin County to increase the threshold required to seal bid, uh, competitive bids and proposals. And I'll put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6E. 13 yeas, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6F, bid tabulation for new non-refurbished personal computers. And I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any uh, discussion? Oh, I got one, didn't I? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6F. 12 yay, 1 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6G, banking contract for home trust, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6G, 13 yay, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H1. Hamlin County Board of Education, budget amendment number seven, and this is for code changes, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion, we have a second. Is there any discussion? Commissioner Neesmith, you're recognized. What is code changing, Randy? Will I her answer? Yes, please. Is no increase or decrease in revenue. Can't hear you. No increase or decrease in revenue. It's just changing funds between line items. Anytime um, we move funds from non-personnel to personnel or vice versa, we have to request permission from the commission. You just go from one to the other. Yes, sir. And it's all state grant that's, money. That's moving one discussion? account to the other account. We know how that works. <laughs> Thank you. Mary Nunn, let's put the motion, please. <laughs> Item 6H1, 13 yay, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H2, Fund 101, Capital Projects 325, and this is for a parking lot, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6H2, 12 yay, 1 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H3, Fund 101, Drug Court. This is for housing, rent, supplies, and training. And I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? <laughs> if not, let's vote the motion. Item 6H3, 13 yay, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H4, Fund 101, Sheriff's Department for 13000 That's a moving of insurance, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any discussion? <laughs> if not, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6H4, 13 yay, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H5, Fund 101, EMA for $681.88, and this is for in insurance refunds for damage to a truck, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Commissioner Neesmith. What was that figure? I got 861.88. Yes. Is that right? That's what I have, yes. Okay. I didn't hear you again. Thank you. 
All right. Anyone else? If not, then let's vote a motion. Item 6H5, 13 0 The motion is approved. Item 6H6, Fund 101 for Parks and Fair Boards, 6500 This is for ongoing Cherokee Park expenses, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, let's vote a motion, please. Commissioner Aker to Commissioner Stepp. Electronic difficulties. Oh, I'm sorry. He's tore it up. I've tore it up. <clears throat> yeah. You had it too many times. <laughs> Probably. How'd you do that? Just a stream to pop to it. Been stubborn, I'm Jeffrey. I know. He goes, no, he looks in his school. Still yeah. can't just go down the coal bucket. Thank you, ma'am. There he is. She's the rescue. I tried. Yeah. Cool. I don't the motion is approved. Item 6H7, Fund 101 for <laughs> Maintenance uh, Sheriff's Department. This is mostly gasoline. It's 30350 and I put it in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? <laughs> if not, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6H7, 13-0-9. The motion is approved. Item 6H8, Fund 116, garbage and sanitation, $4,200, and that's for diesel fuel, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6H8, 13-Yay, 0-Nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H9, Fund 131, Highway Department, $9,200. That's again for diesel fuel, and I put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, let's vote the motion. Yeah. Item 6H9, 13A, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Item 6H10, Fund 101. Uh, Geographic Information Systems, and that's uh, unused leave, and that's for 1,185, and I'll put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, let's vote the motion, please. Item 6H10, 13A, 0 nay. The motion is approved. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Chairman DeBoard. This time the Chair will recognize Chairman Tim Goins of the Public Service Committee. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, item 7A, surplus item from Cherokee Park. i put that in the form of a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? If not, let's vote the motion, please. Item 7A, 13A, 0 nay. The motion is approved. Chairman, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman uh, Gowen. Uh, at this time, we will entertain non-agenda uh, comments from the public. If we do have two requests for five minutes. Edna Green, you're recognized. Here you go. Might be. Edward Green, 4981 Cameron Road, Marstown. What you're getting ready to get is to alert you that, praise God, justice was served on Monday, and the verdict came back for criminal court that Mr. Coffey, <coughs> one of our deputies that has served 21 years with the Sheriff's Department, was declared not guilty of anything. 
that's what you've got. So I had hit Randy up to question before the thing. I just wanted you to all know what he'd got, but praise God, justice was served. Now, second thing, you folks voted to sue us for our little placards. Please take the time to clean up your mess before you leave office. Some of you will stay with us. Some of you will leave. For the ones of you that have stood by and done the right thing, thank you for your service. You will be dearly missed. For the ones of you that have not, shame on you as, as Bobby prayed. Please stand up and do what's right and be a good steward to the community and to the Lord. If you fail to do that, you pay for it. I don't. But you folks voted to sue us. You, you said you were going to sue. I would like to, uh, very much, instead of leaving it hanging over some of us old folks' head, <laughs> you put it up, shove it through, get it done. You've got a county attorney. Do what you voted on. And if you're not men and women enough to take care of it, rescind it and clean up your mess. Do not leave it. For the ones of us that are coming in new, that are going to ask questions, that are going to try to serve the citizens of Hamlin County. We're not going to try to govern the citizens of Hamlin County. We're going to try to serve them and do what's right. We're going to question the expenses like the 95000 that you folks voted on so easily tonight. Ask about the change orders. Ask about the ENO insurance that Mr. Burwell talked to you folks about. I'm sure most of your business people, and you do know what that is. So I'm just wondering why you didn't consult your attorney back here. He's sitting here this time, but not one of you bothered to ask him the question. <coughs> he is paid with Hamlin County funds. You should be asking him. I know that neither one of you have a law degree, and I respect that, that you just didn't want to take a stab at it. But you have a degreed attorney, you should have asked the questions. And it is not too much for us as citizens of Hamlin County to ask you to do your job correctly and professionally and be a good steward. Now, some of you look at me like you think I'm crazy. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion, as I am mine. But you, you tried your best to violate my freedom of speech, and I'd just <coughs> like to see you clean up your messes. Thank you. Ms. Noe has requested five minutes. Ms. Noe, you're recognized. Linda Noe, Joe Stevens Road. I asked to speak about lawsuits, much as Ms. Green brought up. This all started back in around October 2020 when Mr. Shipley said, you cannot wear a shirt like this into this meeting room. A shirt that said no on a $75 million jail justice center. How ironic, because his remarks were that this slandered the body. No, it slandered the people. This was free speech. And yet Mr. Shipley said no. That then led into nine, about 11 months later, in September of 2021, Mr. Shipley and others led you to vote to sue citizens for this bit of free speech. Those are part of the reasons we are now in a lawsuit against you. Because it comes to the point where if you're going to sit here and vote for lawsuits, and that doesn't even include Mr. Uh, Gowen's request for a declaratory judgment to authorize a deputy or a constable or anybody to remove people from this body if they offend you, or if you decide this is a placard, and yet you've never brought a lawsuit. You vote and you vote, except for Mr. Shipley. He did the unauthorized lawsuit because of a little old camera. 
But that is why there is a lawsuit against you. So at some point, people have to stand up and say, no, enough is enough, and we will stand up for our First Amendment rights. So, yes, you've been sued. And you, well, I don't know if you even know it because you, I don't know that your attorney tells you these things. The other item I would like to get into is the rules. As you know, back when Mr. Shipley did his lawsuit, you had an executive meeting and you discussed the lawsuit, and, and I am quite confident there is an affidavit on file by one commissioner stating that, you, that he discussed, your attorney, Chris Capps, discussed the lawsuit against him, the one he says he can't talk about today, he talked about it with you in an executive session. So then you have your rules committee. And the rules review started again as, as because of the violation of constitutional rights in the camera lawsuit. What Charles Curtis told you is that you need to know your rules and put them in, he called it a booklet, so all com commissioners know the framework of how you operate. There's more to it than just that. You need a Hamlin County code like I'm sure Mr. Stepp knows the city of Morristown has, where you break it down into divisions like the Tennessee code and you've got your zoning here and you've got county commission there and you've got finance department and other, break other segments and then when you want to know something like commissioner pay, which came up, you can go to the code and find out what is the pay and when was it last established. Here's some other suggestions for rules, but the biggest thing is get the rules codified. Quit sitting here, kind of like these lawsuits that just go out in limbo and the questions that you all ask and you don't know and you don't find out. Get your rules codified. <coughs> Individual commissioners should be able to put items on the agenda without getting approval from a committee or from the chairman or however. If you look at other commissions, you'll typically find on their agendas, here's an item sponsored by so-and-so. They don't have to get permission. You need to get decent microphones. Again, you need the Hamlin County Code bad, and you need to keep the 10-day rule and look at contracts before you vote, and don't waive it willy-nilly. Thank you. Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission on non-agenda items? If so, you have three minutes. Hi, I'm Rhonda Epperson, Sam Adams Road. So I've been attending some county commission meetings since about February. I would say this is the second or third one that I've heard um, these things come up about suing the citizens of Hamblin County. Um, that's really disturbing that the citizens of Hamblin County could be penalized for coming here and standing at this podium or for wearing a shirt. So I would just like to implore you as well to rescind this or move forward with it. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Hold an 8150 West Point Drive. I want to thank the county commissioners that responded to my email. I appreciate it. It makes me feel like that I am somebody and that you all are concerned about what I'm concerned about. I appreciate it. And the ones that didn't, God help you. Because, see, you were supposed to represent all of Hamlin County, not just your district. 
Do we have anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Bonnie Bollington, 317 Stubblefield Street. Um, I agree. I don't like the thought of you suing me held over my head as some kind of a weapon. Maybe you all think it is a weapon, but I assure you it's not. I encourage each and every one of you, sue me. I would enjoy it. It would make my day. But I think every one of you sitting there today know that you don't have a leg to stand on. So why not put a stop to it? What is the point in this senseless, childish action? I just, I don't understand how you grown, grown ups can sit up here and do the childish things that you do. When one of us says something you don't like, we get called point of order. And let me go on to the rules. Y'all talk about the rules. You throw the rules at us, throw the rules at us. But what happened to the rules committee that you all set up that we're going to draw up rules so everybody know what the rules were? And how come the rules are for us and not you all? You want rules against us that we have to act the way you want us to act, but no rules for you to treat us like human beings. You need to get your act together, grow up, and do the right thing. And as a final note, another thing I'm hearing is about this wheel tax sticker price. What more taxes do you think the citizens of Hamblin County can handle? This crazy Taj Mahal is going sky high every day. We're going to have more and more taxes as time goes on to just put the interest on that bill. And now you want to raise the wheel tax to fix the roads? We know that's not going to happen. You raise the wheel tax, it goes in the general fund, and then it can be allocated out anywhere it wants to, and not one penny will be seen fixing the roads. Get a grip, folks. Do the right thing for a change. Thank you. Anyone else who wishes to address the commission? Seeing none, commissioners, I want to call your attention to the announcements, the first two. Uh, I'll not cover because they relate to July's meetings, but please take note of item C of our special call meeting Monday, June the 27th at 5 p.m. in the courthouse uh, here to approve the budget. We stand adjourned.